The Battle of Hefei. Preparations have been completed. We are ready to march. We must put an end to Cow Cow once and for all. You have your orders, Gunmi. Just wait. So yeah, this is the Wu exclusive battle, the Battle of Heifei, and just looking at the map, this actually does look like a very interesting one too. Uh, but let's get some background on this first. The naval forces of Sung Fan deal Cao Cao a major defeat. Cao Cao is forced to relinquish even his recently won Jing as he is driven back north. The real benefactor of this battle is Liu Bei. As Cao is driven back, he gains control of southern Jing. He later moves to Shu and builds his forces. In the year 215, Sun Quan and Liu Bei plan a joint attack on Cao Cao. They agree to move north. Sun Quan to Hefei. Sun Quan gathers a hundred thousand men and personally begins the invasion. In Wei, Cao Cao is informed of the attack and personally leads his army to repel the invasion. He swears to repay Sun for his humiliating defeat at Qi Bi. Okay, so at this point, uh, the Three Kingdoms have been established, and uh, they're essentially still trying to deal with Cao Cao a little bit, but the mood between Wu and Shu has definitely gotten worse at this point. But um, they're trying to make things right, and... At one point, they decide to do kind of this joint attack where Shu attacks uh, Cao Cao's forces that are kind of in the, like, the northwest, I believe. And then Wu tries to attack Cao Cao here at Heifei, which is kind of... It's an area that's actually really close to where the uh, Wu capital is. It's like really, really close, kind of on the border of uh, Wei and Wu, actually. So, um... Yeah, this is uh, basically the battle that kind of happens here. And yeah, we're going to uh, see what it's all about. Again, I like it in future games where this battle is kind of explained a lot more. Here, it's uh, not really... Uh, you don't really get the full context of this battle completely in this game. But yeah, we have kind of like a really cool looking environment. In fact, this is probably, like honestly, my favorite battle in this game. Uh, just because of the way it looks, like, this is just like a really, really cool map. I guess it kind of looks like uh, the Battle of uh, Cheng Ban a little bit, but it has like all these like rushing rivers too, and uh, kind of has like a unique map that's divided into sections like really cleverly, so I've, I've always been a fan of this one. Like, I definitely have always been a fan of it. So yeah, we're going to be uh, battling Cao Cao in, in uh, this campaign. This is where uh, Cao Cao is going to fall, at least in this game. Looks like we have Xiao Dun. Let's see what you got. No, let's see what you got. Oh, is he literally right here? I thought he was kind of... Uh... Oh no, no, that's not him. We are fighting his forces, though, so that's that's why we got that cutscene. We're actually not near him yet. Oh yeah, we don't have to worry about um, Cao Cao escaping or anything. Literally, the only two battles where escaping is even a thing is... Chibi and maybe Chan Ban, I don't know for sure. Again, I keep hearing that escaping is a thing in that level, but I've never actually seen it happen there. Mainly because it's like such a short level no matter what side you are on. But we'll see. Who knows? Maybe the added difficulty will make that battle a little harder. Also, will you get off your damn horse? Can't exactly fight you like this. There we go, my gun. This is probably where my like weakness is gonna start showing like pretty heavily. I 
Because I didn't really get a lot of defenses from the last battle, because there were like only three gates. No! He was... Stupid bodyguards, don't knock him down unless he's going to die. <laughs> that is a very easy lesson. Not hard to learn. It also, like, starts to rain in this, like, northern part of the map, which I think is really cool. It's a really cool effect. Okay, be careful. On this little island right here, there's a lot of archers. Uh, but there's also, I believe, if you go to the tip of this island, this is where the that thing is. So, make sure you grab that. Okay, let's get some... Let's get some death in here. Hooray for death. Yay, death! No, death is not good. <laughs> it's a part of life, but I wouldn't say it's good. But it's sad when... It's sad when it happens to those you love. Those you love and cherish and care about. And all that other sweet stuff. I'll show you I'll show you guys something else I really like about this battle too, but first, uh got a gate captain over here. How how am I doing actually? Okay, I'm getting close to maxing defense. I'm three bars away. Health still has a long way to go, but um I think in the next few levels I should get enough to at least carry me through a little bit of the game that we have left for this mode anyway so there are a couple things uh, worth mentioning there are three notable uh, generals I guess you could say uh, that kind of uh, have something that happens to them in this battle normally or around this time at the very least is I kind of mentioned this earlier but Zhang Liao who has joined Cao Cao's forces now he's like a very big threat in this battle. He slays like a lot of Wu soldiers and he's just in general really really strong here. I don't know the entire context. I think it was just that he was the one that set up all the ambushes and did like a really good job of weakening Wu's forces to the point where uh, this was actually kind of a losing battle for uh, the Wu forces. Uh, another officer that's kind of important here is Tai Chi Si who is on our side. And um, he actually passes away during this battle. And he is a playable character too, so... If this were like a more historical, accurate uh, game, which it definitely is not, uh, this is the battle where he would probably be dying, or he'd be in like big trouble or something. But again, they don't really uh, go into that in this game at all, so um, yeah, that's not really a thing. And the third officer is, as you probably saw from that cutscene we watched, no, it's not Zhou Yu, because I think Zhou Yu is actually dead at this point. Um, again, talking historics here. Uh, but um, Gan Ying actually uh, did some good work in this battle, too. He set up a bunch of like really uh, good naval raids that uh, kind of pushed the Wei forces away from dominating this area completely. Because definitely, like I said before, Wei definitely won this battle. But it could have been a lot worse if it wasn't for... Um, Again, Taishi sees sacrifice and then also Gunning's interference as well. So yeah, those are the main things I want to talk about. There's another officer that's actually really important to this battle as well, but um He's actually not a playable character yet, so I won't really worry about talking about that too much. Also, Dion Wei is dead. <laughs> the character we played as, la as last time is no longer here. It's kind of sad. Kind of sad when you really think about it. But we're going to move back down here. Uh, there's something I actually want to try out. The cool thing about this battle... Uh-oh. Never mind. I'm going to focus on something else first. Here's where Zhang Liao comes to party. He is going to lead an assault on our main camp, and we need to take care of that, so that's exactly what we're going to do. Uh, the good thing is, we are actually really close to this point, so he's not going to be able to do very much damage. And I don't think he has any uh, officers with him, so it's literally just him. So once I find him, I can take him out and then just be on my merry way like nothing ever happened. 
Uh, but another thing worth mentioning about him here is um, he actually drops uh, one of the um, one of the really high sword upgrades. Like I, I forget if, I forget if it's plus ten or plus twelve. Basically, because he is such a dangerous officer here, he will drop that. And oh my god, he is killing me. More like his forces are killing me, but still. Once we get him kind of boxed in the corner, he'll go down really quickly. Oh, shoot! Crap. Okay, and here's where I think Gunning. Yeah, that's where Gunning's ambush comes into play. Okay. He's dead. Before anything happens, I need to get back over here. Now, this is kind of risky, because I am leaving that sword upgrade back there, but... <laughs> Health first! <laughs> Health first, definitely. Oh no, is the sword gone? Yeah, I think the sword's gone because I ran away from it. But yeah, basically that really, that plus 10, plus 12 sword item, uh, Zhang Liao drops that on this stage. So if you uh, need some attack, definitely consider grabbing that before you... Uh, run off like I did, but since there were enemies around and I was about to die, I really needed that health, and I'm max attack anyway, so I really needed to get out of there. I think you guys can probably agree with that. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, like a uh, cool aspect of this level that I haven't really gone over yet is actually the fact that you can snipe enemies from over the river. Which actually, this is like, I think, the best level where you can make use of arrow combat because, uh, again, you kind of have these vantage points and you can actually make use of it yourself. Also, wow, enemies are getting slain. Or allies are getting slain. And I've taken care of, like, a lot of the uh, big threats in this battle, so I find it weird that we're struggling so much here. But hey, once I kill Zoot Zoo, I think we'll be okay. Zoot Zoo is... Why are my bodyguards over here? <laughs> like, how, how are they over here? That doesn't make any sense. They were just hanging out over here, I guess. Maybe when I went to go chase Z Zan Liao, like, maybe their, like, pathfinding got a little mixed up because of, like, the way this area is structured, so... I mean, that, that that has to be what happened. I can't really think of why they were over here. Okay. Hey, Pang Day. Come here, Pang. Pang. <laughs> Dude, oh my god, why can't I knock these guys off their horses? Sometimes, depending on the character you're using and their weapon, knocking characters off the horses can be more of a chore than you think it should be. <laughs> we'll just put it that way. Also, I do not want to go up here. I want to go fight Zutsu because he's killing everyone. He's killing everyone, and that needs to frickin' stop. Taishi Shi is also... Oh, he's not... He's fine. The game making it seem like he's in trouble when he's not. Typical, typical game. Okay. At least his morale is dropping a little bit. <laughs> Man, I hit him from all the way back here. You know what? We could have a little fun with this. Hey, yeah, buddy. Oh, I <laughs> oh my god, the arrow does a lot of damage to me. Uh... Oh, I 
chest again. Die! <laughs> I could also snipe him behind here. Hey, no. Boom. This could be a good way just to kind of get rid of all of his uh, health recovers. Hey, Zuzu. <laughs> Shot you again. Oh, we got defense. Hey, Zuzu. Come here. Where are you? There you are. Ah. Ooh. Tried to lay the smack down on me right there. The old Zuzu smackdown. Oh, he got full. He got full health recovery. Uh, this is why I hate bodyguards. I mean, they're helpful for sure, but like... They just kind of like keep knocking down the enemy. Causing them to use his health recovers. Kind of mess up your own combos. <laughs> I shot him. <laughs> I think that was a. I think that was the best way for him to go, honestly. With an arrow. Okay, let's uh move on. Now that we're done having fun with Zutsu, we can actually get back to business here. This will actually probably be the short, and it's weird. Like this will probably be the shortest recording session yet. Because of the Satsau escape from the last battle, because that like made I think that made like the battle like a lot shorter than it should have been. And yet all the other officers did get killed. Satsau was the only one that didn't. Actually, you know what I should have done? I should have tried to find a way to make my uh, character get to Sao P, who was the uh, basically Satsau's son, who tried to help him escape in that last battle. Because he always drops like, one of those health upgrades, the health and the health and new cell upgrades, so that could have been a good investment of my time, but I chose not to for some reason. At that point, I was like, "Well, Sao is running away. He's going to end the battle prematurely. Should probably stop him." <laughs> okay. Hey, look, more. Oh. oh, they have archers too. Oh, I'm out of arrows. I used my last arrow on Zutsu. And it killed him. I should just try to snipe him, like, the entire time. To see if I could get rid of him. Actually, I don't think that would have worked. Because, um, again, every time you hit an officer with an arrow, um, they get knocked down pretty much. So that kind of allows them to restore their health. It is funny, though, just on this map, like, looking across the river, seeing an enemy officer, and being like, you know, I can hit them from here. <laughs> Maybe I'll try to do that again when, uh, we come back to this level later. Because, yes, even though this is the last playthrough, uh, you can technically play this battle as South Sao's forces if you go to free mode. Uh, same with Battle of Changban, and same with, uh, from the Way Story, Battle of Guandu, you can play as, uh, Wan Shao's forces. The reason you don't do those in story mode is, again, because, uh, they want to give all the forces an equal number of, uh, levels to play. And if they gave Cao Cao those battles, uh, his campaign would be two battles longer. Which is why that is the case. Also, I'm going to turn on my light really quick. Because it is getting late. It is like 10.40 right now. And my room was still dark. Or, my room is dark. Because I started recording and it was light out. But now, it's dark, so... Need to get some light in here. Something's wrong with my control stick. Sometimes it gets stuck. Maybe it just needs to get cleaned or something. Or, you know, it could be just the fact that it's an old controller and old controllers just don't always work optimally all the time. Okay, 
Okay, I think uh, Xiaohu Yuan is the last uh, last enemy we have to put up with here. Does he have any? He does not. South has like five com officers though, so that'll be fun to hunt down and destroy all those. Also, a lot of archers around this area, so be careful. Don't get overzealous or overconfident. These archers are definitely annoying in this game. Honestly, I think archers are worse in Dynasty Warriors 3, though, just because uh, the combo potential that they can have. And all of a sudden, like, you're full health, and all of a sudden, oh, I'm in red health, better get the hell out of here. <laughs> Which, again, I'm really looking forward to that playthrough whenever I get around to it. Whenever I figure out what the hell I'm doing with that game. A lot of people have been giving me suggestions for uh, that potential playthrough when I get around to it, and I appreciate that. I'd like to... I'd like to see suggestions, but like for people who have never seen the game, like it, it can be kind of hard to really uh, give an opinion because, again, you don't know really what to expect with that game, I suppose. I will say, though, it, it is very similar to this. Like, the jump from Dynasty Warriors 2 to 3 really isn't that big of a one, honestly. Uh, they, like, retool the mechanics a little bit so it feels, like, a lot smoother than what this game does and less, like, stiff. Like, the characters aren't as stiff. I feel like you have more control over the characters and how they move and stuff. Uh, the graphics look a lot better than this, honestly. Like, in this game, like, all the characters almost kind of look like just... I don't want to say blocky, because, I mean, this is definitely better than, like... Dynasty Warriors 1. I don't know if anyone's ever looked at the uh, gameplay for that or not, but like those characters look like really blocky, like just old PS1 graphic characters or whatever. Here it looks a lot better, but like even the jump from 2 to 3 is like really impressive. So like the graphics look a lot better. Uh, not much really happens with the sound quality. I do like the remixes in 3 a little better than 2, but um. For the most part, a lot of the music is pretty much the same. But, like, the biggest thing, the thing that gives, I think, the game the most charm is that they literally, like, make the characters stand out more. Which is why I want to show, like, all the characters. Because if I show all the characters, then, you know, you can kind of get that experience with each one of them. Which is why... I think that really sells Dynasty Warriors 3 over 2, at least in my opinion. Okay, what do we got? We have... Sao Zeng. Is Sao P in this battle? He is not. So that kind of sucks. Because I really wanted to get that uh, health and Musa upgrade. I feel like maybe the Wu storyline, like... That's probably like the worst one to... Uh, like, upgrade your characters, because I feel like you don't have a lot of opportunities to increase those stats. It's kind of a shame. Are there any other gates here? I don't think so. I think we're done with the gates for this battle. Ouch. That's... Hey, look, Tai Chi C is here. <laughs> Does it feel good to be alive, Tai Chi C? I mean, you're not dead like you normally would be. I suppose that's a good feeling. <laughs> also, I think this place is really cool in this battlefield, too. How you kind of have, like, this square arena has, like, an inner sanctum and then an inner inner sanctum. Kind of a cool, cool-looking area. Yeah, this is why my this is why this is my favorite battle in this game. Ah, come on, be careful. Careful, make sure I don't die here. Grab the defensive shield. Then walk away, away from all the enemies. 
I, sh I should be really, really careful, though, because technically there are archers, like, on the side of the building that are firing down at me, so... I should probably retreat, try to find some health before I move back in, or move back any further. Like that's... What's going on over here, anyway? I keep seeing all those arrows, but I don't think those are from the enemy. I think those are just from my opposite or from my allies. Southsell also has zero morale right now. Zero morale. Do you have health? No, you're just a corporal. Like corporals have health. I lied again. <laughs> I mean, it's good that they have health because I needed it. I wonder if it's a thing where if you have low health at a certain point, maybe the game recognizes that and increases the drop rate, maybe? That's an assumption. I don't know for sure. Would be good to know. I don't think there's any enemies or officers behind there. I know there's one officer where I was, but I didn't want to stick around there with all those archers firing stuff at me. Which is why I walked away. Oh no, that was a corporal I killed. Sergeants don't give health. Yeah. I was kind of hoping I'd be wrong again, and then they'd give me more health. Okay. Let's back over here. Why are you moving backwards? Are you trying to do the moonwalk? You can't do the moonwalk. Oh, you're a corporal. Corporal with no health, though, so I could care less about you. Okay, so that's South Sound in the middle there. I don't know if I want to battle him yet. Over here, I think we have one of his sub officers, though. Oh, no, that's Cheng Yu from earlier. Sure, I'll KO you. You were on my to kill list anyway. <laughs> okay, is that all of his officers? No, there's. Jian Su is still around. Is he up here with Sao Tso? Yeah, I think he is. I think I saw two names. Yep, there he is. Ooh! I did not mean to get hit by that. But yeah, like, that did a lot of damage. Okay. Okay, I might want to kill this guard. Thank you. That's what I was looking for. You may have recovered a little bit of health, but I did too, so... It's even. It's even, Jiatsu. And he's dead. Okay, just one more officer remaining, and he's up there. Shame I can't use arrows for him, though. I'm glad we had, like, a little fun with arrow combat, because I haven't really used them at all in this playthrough, so... Again, like, I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying, like, arrows are useless or anything. I mean, you saw them actually be pretty effective at knocking health down earlier. But, like, I feel like... Oh my god, Taishi C. I love you. I love you. I love you. Oh my god. I would've and should've been dead there. I honestly should have been dead. 
Oh my god, okay, I need more health. Um... Good thing I saved Tai Shi Shi and he didn't die for real like he was supposed to. Because I could have died there. <laughs> oh my god, that was close. Uh, I need to get health. At least, like, all the enemies are taken care of, aside from Sao Like, he's the only enemy remaining. Okay. No. I'm literally looking for anything that's health, so, um... I guess I'll be right back. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. One of these could be a save point. Okay, yeah. Uh -huh. Be right back. Okay, I found a save point uh, around this area. Hard to pinpoint, but look at the map, I guess. Kind of that square area that's not like at the top, but kind of close to the top. Around where we kind of fought Xiao Hu Yuan and Xiao Hu Dune, so kind of around there. Uh, but yeah, I found a save point. Let's go back in here and uh, finish off Sao Sao. And then we're going to marry the crap out of Tai Chi C for saving my life. No. Uh, I'll get into, like, uh, Sun Shang Zhang's marriage in a little bit. I kind of mentioned it before, but, um... You know. Okay, so here we go. Yeah, you can recover all you want, but this time you're going down. I think he's like, aside from those like two or three soldiers in the top right of the map, like Sao Tso is literally, I think, the last unit that's remaining in this battle. And he actually got some morale back because he probably killed a couple soldiers. And got probably a KO milestone or something. Uh, this was probably not a good idea because I'm probably not going to get enough damage out on him. Oh, no. Okay, just enough. Okay, it's Sao Tsao has been defeated. His dream, his empire, left in the dust. Okay, that was the Battle of Heifei. We only have one battle remaining for Wu, and we'll be uh, working on that next time. Uh, that battle was interesting. Like, it was, it was actually pretty difficult. Like, the enemies gave me some trouble, more than they did in Chibi, for sure. But again, like, I don't really know why. Maybe it's just, like, a much higher battle in terms of difficulty, I guess. That's the only thing I can think of, anyway. So, yeah, let's save our game, and we'll uh, move on to the next stage.